Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a What's the Tea reading to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back. Because I have yours now, I'm going to clarify with empath tarot which is right here and also I'll, I'll also clarify with a uh, modern love tarot to see if it's in regards to love and also clarify that energy so that could be in regards to person that you're dealing with and then i'll clarify the other energy to see what it is and how you learned from the situation we have thief this came out in my um last reading but it's unsure this time so um the last reading was called and let me I always try to keep them up the last reading was called um one day you will you will trust and love again and so the thief rob loss uh it says uh, theft physical or emotional so at the last read it was in regards to emotional uh energies that somebody you know worrying about um how somebody has taken your time away and then also about if you are going to be judged in regards to that dirt digging and so the last one was spying or something like that it was the owl looking back or looking you know out the from the side um and so it says looking for dirt on you or vice versa so not only did the person place thing or situation you've been worried about creeping here it is i said the owl didn't you hear me say that it was looking didn't i say that so um again somebody worried about um or trying to sabotage your character because um, if they find out that you have folded and um, talking shit here and in their head, um, you're in your head. And that's the reason why the energy was um, you being unsure about somebody's taking your energy from you, jackpot. But you won. Um, and if you go back to the reading before that, which is don't force it, you're winning the situation and you're you're playing checkers, not chess. And that's the difference or playing chess, not checkers. And that's the difference from you. They are trying to find dirt on you and talk shit about where you are and where you have been and what you've gone through in the past. And when it comes to talking shit, you know, and in their head, they're trying to, it says overthink, stress, and overanalyze what you're going through. So they're trying to watch you because they're, you know, they try to steal your energy or take away your credibility and that's why they're looking for dirt so i'm going to pull from the empath that empath uh reiki and i can't think of the other uh, the, but this is the tarot deck let me make sure they're all in the upright yep um because if it comes out in the reverse it's meant to come out that way but yeah this is a tarot deck to see what comes eight of coins energy so you've been working on yourself it says acquiring expertise so you've been working on yourself to try to get through this or justice was in the last reading several times when the consequences of your action actions justice is you doing the right thing so one of them was seeking counseling one of them was seeking a lawyer one was seeking you know a way to be able to get through this situation but not care about how somebody else felt and then when it comes to yeah the burdens the burdens of the past and understanding that you know nine of cups energy your wishes are going to come true again the heavy burdens get you the knowledge on how to deal with certain situations but you're going to win at the end and no matter how much dirt somebody comes up with when it comes to what you've been dealing with them creeping and trying to talk shit about you only comes with you taking a leap to um, basically be greater than what you were in the past or go after the things that you want so it puts fuel in your fire uh, or, or flames what is it fuels your flames or i don't know how to say it in order for you to stop overthinking understand that the toxicity will be there but the king of coins king of pentacles energy lets you know that this is when you start to put the energy into yourself and build wealth and with the comes when it comes to the devil energy um, it's like it says destructive indulgence, but this is the tox the toxic toxicities that you've been around. Devil energy is like being aware of what um, what fuels you to stay for longer periods of time, or what fuels you to worry about what somebody else is um, thinking about, or how somebody else feels about you. And that is seven of coins energy, seven of pentacles, fruits of your labor. You having to plant the seed. In order for you to be able to move forward and take that leap and so the king of coins energy gives you the opportunity to build you know to build to be disciplined to have practice leaderships and to be abundant knowing that you're going to win no matter what it says 
winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money. So you're going to win no matter what the situation may be. You're going to hit the jackpot, but it takes for you to start planting seeds and to understand that the self-doubt that you're dealing with when it comes to dealing with how somebody sees you or what somebody is trying to do to sabotage you, you have to be able to let that go and know that your wishes are granted, wishes fulfilled, nine of, pen excuse me, nine of cups energy. You're going to have everything that you uh, expect, but you have to be able to learn to manifest that. It's like um, emotional stability and this is what you need to understand that in order for you to have emotional stability you cannot worry about somebody else talking about you you still have to move forward eight years and basically learn from your past mistakes or learn from the burdens that you have been through in the past and that is what these readings are about it's about you understanding that everybody is going to have some something to say it's like assholes everybody has their own opinions you have to be able to understand how to see things in a different perspective and go from there so i'm gonna hit i'm gonna put put i'm gonna pull from the hidden uh the hearts hidden speakers to see what comes out and then i'm gonna pull from the emotional uh, uh deck as well and i don't know what it's called but i'm gonna pull from that because you have to understand that when it comes to certain situations you're gonna be the one who has to um go from there and make things um Come, you have to come out on top and no matter how much people are creeping and trying to steal your joy, you know, you can't, you have to have emotional stability and that's kind of how I see that. So again, if this is in regards to love, soulmates, longing, wanting, wanting that soulmate type energy and craving for it, you have to understand that everybody is always going to talk, but you, it takes for you to be at peace. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that influences. Okay. Peace and what it was and possibilities and sorrows here hold on and these cards come out trapped broken and distracted see and this is how it's supposed to come out it, it gonna, it's going to take for you to understand that you're going to be sad when it comes to certain situations and your heart's going to be broken but you have to be at peace when it comes to how somebody feels about you because nine times out of ten I always tell you if I cut you off you handed me the scissors and so when it comes to you having balance and harmony and also when it comes to friendships and things you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them and also understand that everybody is not going to be your cup of tea and everybody is not going to root for you to get through these types of energies especially if you have secure abundance and you're building foundations for yourself and also when it comes to soulmate type energy so if you feel happy in a certain situation and you know that uh, the possible, what's impossible is possible. What people feel is impossible is possible to you. You're not going to let anybody stop you. But that's coming with you learning from the burdens that you went through. That everybody is not going to want to see you happy. Everybody's going to have an opinion. Everybody's going to talk shit. The only thing you can do is keep moving forward, and that is you practicing and understanding that destructive indulgence. You listening to the toxicity. And being around a toxicity is going to disturb your peace. And that's not what you want. And that's the reason why the seven of coins comes here when it comes to fruits of your labor. What you do and how you win all has to do with your reflection of what you're going through and how you feel about yourself, if that makes sense. And so that's kind of how I see that if that is in regards to soulmate. Sorry, I hit my microphone. So I'm going to pull from the modern day love tarot. Um, in order to see what comes out when it comes to love. But again, your burdens come from how somebody, how you think somebody is going to portray you or why you keep stagnant is because you're worried about how, and you might have been or were at one point worried about how somebody sees you. This card came out right here, which you couldn't see. Um, but yeah, you're worried about how somebody, yeah, look at that. Three of Pentacles and how you work with people as a team. Three of Pentacles also means that, you know, teamwork, it can be you implementing certain things and collaborating, but it also can be learning from the people that you are around. Again, the people who are going to keep pushing you forward or going to deplete you in that same energy. We also have the Ten of Cups. Again, Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. The way that you work on love and how you handle burdens is basically Ten of Cups energy, which is how you see things, your inner happiness, what you dream about. And that is when it comes to, doo -doo -doo -doo, where is it at? Uh, which is granted Nine of Cups energy, you not allowing things to stop you or the people that you are around to stop you from having the things that you dream about. If you want this certain love, if you want this certain relationship job, 
um, or even financial status, you have to be able to take a leap. And it says fearless beginnings and not worry about how somebody feels or you have to be able to secure your own mental status. And if this is in regards to love or just having self-doubt, you got to know that everybody is going to want you, excuse me, what I'm trying to say is you got to know that um, people put their own fears on you, your own fears. They they project their fears on you. So they think that you can't do something because of the fact that they can't do it or they're afraid to do it. And so you have to have, you know, uh, uh, what is it? Emotional control when it comes to what you doubt and how you doubt it. These cards came out sideways, but this also comes with the nine of cups again with the nine of cups going here in the bottom of the deck. King of Pentacles. See, the King of Pentacles again is somebody who is very wealthy, very disciplined, a leader, and also very abundant. But you have to be able to work on things no matter what the adversity or the outcome or how many times you fail. And that's where the King of Coins comes in twice at because the King of Some Coins is somebody who is at peace with the decisions that they make and they cannot worry about the the negativity of others and what it basically is of what they're trying to accomplish. And that's going after their dreams and acquiring the expertise that they need to have in order to get through that again, coming with the seven of pentacles energy, which is the fruits of their labor. They're going to make sure that they're not a let, not going to let anybody stop them from achieving their goals. And this unsure energy, when it comes to dealing with the page of cuffs and the knight of wands energy, this unsure energy, because if they let this energy stop them, the Knight of Wands energy is my Drake energy. You only live once. Be bold. Be fearless. Do what you love. You cannot let nobody stop you, no matter how different you are, how what you dream about. Page of Cups energy, you know, what what you want, your imagination, the things that you want. So if you are unsure about these types of energies, then you have to understand that this energy is always going to block you. Uh, this is always everything that somebody is trying to find to knock you down. It's always going to be a problem when it comes to the, their destructive patterns. But if you're secure within yourself and understand that this is what you want, then that's when you're not going to let the universe stop you or let anything stop you. And you're going to go from there, if that makes sense. And so that's kind of how I see that. Let me go ahead and pull from the... Uh, archetype deck archetype type and traits of love deck i'm going to pull from here if this has to do with love because of a soulmate or if this even has to do with friendship um or um yeah the seeker this came out in the reading that is called said don't force it and gold digger yeah so the seeker it says they love to keep the relationship fresh keep variety and passion on their menu they have a quick quirky style and approach to love so this could be something that would stop you and keep you stagnant if you're worried about how somebody how somebody sees you or, again, seekers, somebody's watching and planning for you and doesn't want to work with you, only wants you to work with them, one-sided type energy. Bottom of the deck is gold digger. In a relationship for the money, obsessed with status, manipulates others to look um with looks and charm so that could be the energy when it comes to love you know this person could be charming their way when it comes to money or how or charming you because they like the money and the opportunities that you can bring to them but again they don't want you to go after your dreams they want you to go after their dreams or to support their dreams that's why the gold digger is there and they could be seeking people who um who will help support their dreams if that makes sense and so um i'll pull from the breakup oracle um deck to see what comes out and then i'll pull from the finance deck and the true emotional so let's see what comes out when it comes to this energy uh the card that comes out is clueless yeah uh, honestly i don't even know what i did wrong maybe you'll tell me and then we have denial it says it's much easier to deny my feelings for you and so that is what basically is happening they are denying their way that they feel about you um but and because they're clueless about who you are and what you have to offer and you are the again mother of the zodiac but you are the one who uh king of coins energy is uh very business very um abundant uh practices discipline especially when it comes to discipline of loyalty when it comes to business when it comes to support when it comes to wealth you're able to manifest the things that they cannot do they have to rely on other people and you don't and so 
they rely on digging up dirt or looking at things uh, what you want when it comes to this energy going after the things that you want and having a childlike type love or experience as it being shallow and that you can't be this person to them so they're going to seek everything else because they're clueless of your power and so that's excuse me that's kind of how i see that but when they will that they will start longing for you when you decide to move forward and take a leap for yourself and not to worry about the burdens and the way that they treat you if that makes sense and so that's kind of how i see that energy i am going to pull now from let's see i'll pull from the show me the money deck i haven't used that in a while but yeah they're clueless to know that who you are as a person and how you're able to manifest the things that they want and once they really realize how the tables have turned because you've turned your energy off on them i, I posted something on my my TikTok and it said it was a girl and it kind of you know it, you can take it what yeah sharpen your skills add to your skill set this is what you're deciding to do that's why the eight of pentacles comes out because you're sharpening your skill set you'll have the knowledge the power and the money money power respect what you're eating like you know you'll have that and while they're doing this stuff you're steady constantly taking le leaves and uh, working on yourself and seven of pentacles planting seed they're selling their soul it's a difference see What's the difference between me and you, the gold digger? You see what I'm saying? While you're working on yourself and coming up with the craft, they want to see what somebody else can offer them, if that makes sense. And so they're totally in denial about how how you can help them. And the seven of coins, the fruits of your labor, is what you're working on. You're not worried and relying on anyone else to give you the things that you want because you're at peace with the things that you need. And so that is how I see that also. What is this here? Jackpot. Yeah. So that's where the, the jackpot is, you know, you're, you're not, you're playing checkers, not chess. They're playing chess, not checkers. Wait, you're playing check chess, not checkers. They're playing checkers, not chess. And so they're cold, they're clueless is what I'm trying to say. Um, they're clueless. I was going to say slowly clueless, but I don't understand why I was saying that. They are very clueless when it comes to what it is that you've been working on and why you have to take a leap and don't matter how they feel about certain situations, if that makes sense. And so that's kind of how I see that uh, when it comes to dealing with this person, place, thing, or situation. And there you have it. So let's go ahead and pull from the true emotions deck to see what emotions come out. And then I'll pull from the soulmate karmic and twin flame deck because again this you know you're not worried about this person you you're not not going to sell your soul you're not no gold digger you don't care about yeah massive regret this person is going to be in regret and they up look all of this energy of them gold digging waiting on somebody else they're unemployed debt you know they have a lot of debt and they have bad credit because they while you were working on yourself they were working on some bullshit and so we have jazabelle yep because they'll do anything sell their soul for money and things there's a lot of secrets you had to say goodbye and they're living in regret and so again with all of this stuff being said they sold their soul and because of the jazabelle tendencies and the gold digger type energy while you're steady building a foundation and that is like all I can see in regards to this so you've done everything you're supposed to do you've been working um, we have the seven years we have eight years we have five I think we have the five of Pentacles out um, let's see we have five of Pentacles I'm trying to see what else we have um, we have the King of Pentacles but yeah you are yeah we got the King of Pentacles twice it doesn't matter what they're doing you're building wealth and they're steady going into debt and you know regardless on how long it took for you. Yeah, there's a breakthrough that happened. Um, your connection is going through a big transformation that will elevate you to the next level. Believe in miracles. And there's a crossroad. So you had to make a decision in order to walk away from this Jezebel type energy who would sell their soul for any sell their soul for anything and now they're in debt. It says your twin knows they have to make a choice, but they ha the, but there is a lot of confusion surrounding this decision. They're taking their time to get clarity. So the, you don't care the decision that they have to make is that they have to stop playing games and you say goodbye so you're going through the breakthrough because you believed in miracles you believed in yourself that's where the um nine of uh, cups energy comes out and i think it came out twice uh but the page of cups is here so anyway you're going after the things that you want while they're steady being um left in the wayside and so let me go ahead and pull from the cozy witch deck to see what comes out for you 
and the energy. But again, you're not allowing somebody to control you mentally, physically, and emotional. They're like assholes. Everybody has an opinion. And once you realize and stop worrying about the things that somebody else was doing, nine of wands energy, you set boundaries. The bottom of the deck is the queen of cups. Yeah. Honor your emotions. It, honoring your emotions is one of the highest form of self-care. You're caring for yourself. You're honoring the things that you want. This will happen, but it will happen um, the way it's supposed to. And then it says it would take a, a, a hell it will take a hell of a lot uh, more to defeat you. Nobody can defeat you. You're undefeated. And that's where them selling their soul lets them know that you're undefeated. And no matter what you go through, no matter how somebody feels about you, they're going to be the one in massive regrets. And they're going to be the ones have to make the big decisions because of the, you know, what is it? Permanent decisions, temporary emotions. But it also is, um, you know, them um, making heart over head, head over heart decisions. And, you know, this is what it led them to. So again, I would, it would take a hell of a lot more to defeat you. You're not just easily defeated. And so they have a decision to make and their decision is to know if they're going to sell their soul for this laugh now, cry later. And that's what it is. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and pull from the crystal deck and then I'm going to let this old energy go and the four agreements. So the four agreements, if you want to know about the four agreements in the crystal deck, I'll put the link below. So it says, take your life and enjoy it. Always do your best. You've done your best in every situation. I tell you, nine times out of ten, if I cut you off, you handed me the scissors. So it says, you are alive, so take your life and enjoy it. You were born with the right to be happy, to love, and to share your love. Just to be. To take a risk and enjoy your life is all that matters. And that's what you're doing. You've done your best in every situation, especially when it came to dealing with shallow people. And so the Kunzanite is your heart chakra. It says uh, unconditional love, contemplation, and introspection. You had a realization that, you know what, no matter how somebody feel about you, you have to release it. I release outer influences and am filled with divine love. I release outer influences and I am filled with divine love. And that's the unity and that's the loyalty that you have when it comes to deep love and the connections, especially soulmate type love or what you're passionate about. And once you learn that no matter what somebody else says, um, you're not going to sell your soul. And that's just that. And it's going to take a lot more to defeat you. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health. And addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys. Bye-bye.